Hi everybody, Sherman here. Today I am happy to introduce you to my brand new plugin, Abuse Control. Um, I've created lots of products as you all probably know and every single time I'm seeing them given away for free and abusing my products by distributing them to whoever has the links to grab them and it's costing my business thousands and I was just tired and fed up with it and I knew there had to be a way to, to help take control of this so I invented this plugin called abuse control and if you get into it you will see over here on the left hand side it's listed here in your bar you simply click on it and the first thing that you will notice is the websites these are all known websites that contain links to free files where people share the files and the black hat team puts them on here so people can access them okay they change they change they go up they go down it depends so we've added an add new website feature where if you click on this you'll be able to put the new company name the company website and the new email address to send the DMCA which is basically an abuse report and these companies take this very very seriously they're immediately taken down within 24 to 48 hours and on top of that they contact the original place where the link originated from and ha deal with them harshly so it, it really will help clean up the internet and hopefully save us from losing all of our hard-earned dollars to people just freely giving it away okay simply into your details there push add new background and it will add it to this list if you want to clear them you simply push this button here edit delete one side, next we're going here we will go to the options tab in this option here is all the fields that you will see on your form that you submit onto any post or page this is applicable for any post or page and it is inserted by a short code which you will soon see but I know every person's different may want to produce it different present it differently so we've given you the option to change all fields in the actual form that is presented to your visitors okay now note that this is not used only for visitors you can use it for yourself as well very easily so anyway to customize it you can add anything you want here automatic defaults are already added and you simply push submit okay next we have the options form and this is where it gets friendly for you you can choose the default size for your font you can choose the default color for your font color and your background color for the actual form that shows up in your post page or widget this controls the width and the height of the form and uh, this is the background and this is the text I've decided to do it red as a background white as the text on this one and here you're presented with the opportunity to add a pop-up fancy pop-up which you can deliver anything in this HTML editor be it video be it text be it another website be it a video that is a sales page anything you want in here uh, a video of yourself explaining anything you want to get to know you a free gift it's up to you anything you want in this as a pop-up and you can choose your backup background pop-up color your backup pop-up border your width and your height okay once you're there you just push submit and that will be in there if you choose not to have the fancy pop you simply push this and only your form will be shown under settings this is your name your address your phone number and the email this is to submit to the sharing sites this will send the absolutely very professional and to the point email to these companies and they will indeed remove it right away okay 
Now, if we come over here to our data tab, this saves every single person that uses your form, their name and their email is saved. You can decide to delete them or export them in a convenient .csv file, which you can then add to any autoresponder. Okay, now we'll come over here and I'll show you it actually on my site. This is an actual example of the form added onto the site. If you notice, you can add all your details. Here. Oh, I'm sorry. All your details here. Link where the document is found. This is to add a request. Okay, you can add a request, or the user can add a request, excuse me, for a host file that is not included in your list here. Okay, these are the default ones that we've listed in the back. And that you can add as many as you want here, or subtract. And this is where the user has an opportunity to request one to be added, which will help you keep your list fresh. This is the actual link where the illegal document is found. And if you notice when you click on here, this down here pops up. Okay. What this is will automatically suggest links for your where your free uh, products are listed. Okay, let me give you an example. If the user gets on this and they click on it, what it does is brings you into Google and it automatically enters it in there and it does a free search for you okay this is just to get them going and to get them looking in here and, and if if you look here see my product right here it's listed many times for free right here so you know here it is media fire people are actively giving it away and I'm gonna actually put this to use on this right now I wanted you guys to see this and know that it's happening to everybody right now as we speak okay now we come back over here and just to give you an idea of what the pop-up looks like here push the mitt and your pop-up will appear with whatever you put in here with your original background color your your border color and a message for a successful submission all right if the user messes up and doesn't enter something correctly say they forgot to put in their website and they push submit they will get an error signal we got that there what I want to show you now is the way we add it into our post or page right here it is a brand new button for add abuse control you simply add it add it I'm sorry and it adds the short code in there you can take the other one away simply push update and your abuse control will be shown in your page right there all right now we have one other option I wanted to show you and that is the widget option simply grab and pull the abuse widget call over here into the main sidebar you can title it and save it and it will show up in your sidebar all right guys i want to thank you for taking a peek at our brand new plugin it's going to surely help you it will help your customers it will grab visitors attentions in the pop-up box you can decide to share this and people will love it you will get lots of traffic you can choose to even charge this or add it to a membership site I mean this I was approached by someone charging wanted to charge me $79 for to remove a single site from all these so you know it's gonna save you money it's gonna save you time and it's gonna save your visitors money and time no matter how you put it into use so thank you very much hope you have a great day take care and that's it Bye-bye, guys.